Good evening, Sensei Nick Flores here. Today we're going to talk about the Sai, which is a weapon that looks like this. These are from Charedo. Long time ago, I got them back in, I don't know, 64, I don't know, man, long time ago. So those are Sai. And what you, and uh, I'll talk about interesting ones. This is a size. See how they got the little round tips there? Huh? Okay, these are from Shoshin Nagamini. I used to be my sensei's driver, and the Nagamini and all that generation were like friends in Okinawa, and what sensei was his friend, and they liked to have a few drinks. So I was the driver. I was the designated driver. So one time we went to Shoshin Nagamini's house, or dojo, I don't know what it was, but I was just there. Anyway, and I was just bringing him beer, and or, or something else. Anyway, and uh, he had some size, he used to sell size, so he had some size and other things. And I asked my sensei, sensei, can you ask, I you know, quietly at home, can you ask that sensei right there if uh, he'll sell me a pair? And, uh, so since it says, t tells him something in Okinawa and they're talking, and then the guy says, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he runs and gets a pair of sai, and uh, I say, ikura desu ka, jin wa? Anyway, so, so he says, oh, no, 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 presento, presento. And with this sai, Nagamini go this way. And I said, oh, arigato sensei. Anyway, that's, you know, I was no special student or nothing. I was just a driver. I was a black belt, but just a driver, nothing but one. I, I wasn't even a good black belt. Well, maybe I was, maybe I wasn't, I don't know. That's not up to me to say. And these are their Sai. These are from Taketo Nakamura, Grandmaster of Okinawa Kenpo. Again. You know, I never asked for nothing, you know. I just mentioned him. I told him, oh, this beautiful size, Sensei. You know. And then he said, oh, here, presento, presento. I don't know why they gave me stuff, but I'm very grateful. The difference but between other size is this little knob here, right there. Nakamura size have this. I'm still trying to develop that art right there. That little thing right there, little hump. That is, so you can hide your thumb behind there, behind the hump. You hide your thumb there. Cause so you don't put it there. At night or real quick, your thumb stops there on that little hump. Because if it stops there, like that, a knife or something can injure your hand, then you cannot fight. That is uh, from Taketo Nakamura, the Grandmaster of Okinawa Kenpo. The other size, I just bought them in a store, Shuredo, in Okinawa. But that's, you know, it's just a store. I went in there, bought them. Okay, now I'll show you how the size is used. Legend has it. This is what I was told by some sense. I can't remember who. They go like that. They poke a hole in the ground like that. Here's the ground in my hand. They poke a hole in the, right there but it makes a marker there and there. And I was raised in a farm and uh, we had planters that would, every so many inches you put a, a seed in there. And this makes the hole for the seed, this uh, marks the next hole right there. So then you go and stick it over there. And if the, it requires larger distance, they just put it right there, we marked it. They space it out that way. But, and then, this is what I was told, right or wrong, you know, I'm not, I didn't invent them. This, you block this way, like we have, this is just an extension of your hand. Somebody hit you in the head, you block this way, and they hit the steel there. You can block this way, chudanuke, or 
block this way that's a block to this area or block down this way or block down somebody trying to cut off your leg like that that are the blocks then we have punches you just punch like that you point your finger like that and you just point to your target and it goes pow 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 just like that you just point to the target and there you go just like a bullet because that is to punch and then we have things that are hits you hit down this way preferably with this down here so you get hurt more this don't hurt too much that way but this way you you hurt here and hurt all of this like that that is a strike down and then we have a jab which you twist it in twist it out and uh, there's some bayonets in the world like the Viet Cong they had on the SKS they had spikes like this for the bayonets and it was like a potato peeler it would go in and out like that with good bayonet we don't make good stuff I don't know why the enemy does but you can go like that pull it out real quick that but th that's what this is and I said you ha have hits you have blocks And you have punches, pow, pow. And then you got another strange block. I'm so graceful. I wanna see it again? Okay. <laughs> we have another block, it's called an X block. It's like that. When something hits right there, it goes, sinks in. And then you can trap his bows or break a sword or something like that. I will show you for example. Let me see. Let me get something over here. Pull that right there. Just okay. This is X block. You go like this, and it slides into there like that, and you can twist it like that. Or what you can do is. Let X block again, let it go down there like that. And, and you can hold on to it real tight. See? You can pull it out of his hand that way. That is called an X block. And I'll go over that again because it's very strange. Not too many people don't know. Like that, and it slides down into there. Like so. Okay, real careful now, real slow, real slow, it hits it, it keep going down, keep going down, like so, and real close up, can you see how it, it trapped it right there? And all you do is twist it a little bit, and it locks it in place. In the oil fields, they got things that'll hold pipes up, and something like this, but it's not a side but it'll hold the pipe from slipping down. And they were hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds. But anyway, it's a grappling hook. That is called the X block. Now I'm gonna do a kata. Give me the boat. I'm gonna do a kata and I'll explain what I am doing. Oh.